Hi everyone, so this is lesson three of the, um, the normal distribution pack. And it talks about standardising. So in the olden days, we didn't have calculators where we could set a lower and an upper and put a sigma in and a, and a mu or an expert, however you want to call it. We had to standardise. And what standardise does, it took any distribution and it changed it into this one. And they called it Z. And that followed a normal distribution. It had a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. <clears throat> and that was it. And we kind of, we had a set of tables, a big set of tables, and you looked up the different values of Z and it gave you a probability. So when we started teaching this, we did quite a lot of standardizing, but we don't really need to. So just to show you that it kind of works, oh, I left, left my calculator in the other room, but I guess I don't need it, it's all right. Um, so I'm on normal, so I'm going to do an NCD. My lower is going to be minus 10,000. My upper, 26. Uh, and then where have I got? I've got sigma as 4. And mu, x bar, what are going to call it? It's 25. So if I do that on my calculator, I can find my calculator. Here we go. So menu two, F5, F1, NCD. Make sure that's variable, especially if you're just getting exam mode. Minus 10,000. Uh, what am I going to? Was it 16? 26 it was, wasn't it? 26. Sigma is 4. Sigma is 4. 4. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. It's not working. Why is my 4 not working? Oh, 4. And mu uh, is 25. There. So 0.5987. So that's doing it just how we'd want to do it. So 0 0.5987 there. Now I'm going to do it, I'm going to ignore this one here. I'm going to ignore this one here. So if I do it, it's more to play with it. Um, if I do it with the standard housing, then I need to transform it over. And what I do is I use Z is X minus mu over sigma. So x is 26, 25 for mu, and it would be the square root of 4 squared, because that's 4. So that's going to be a quarter, isn't it? So what I want is a z value, which is less than a quarter. Oops, that's not a quarter. Try again. A z value, which is less than a quarter. That's what I want. There. So what I'm going to do, I use the standardised one with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. Find the calculator, it should give me the same value. So if I do minus 10,000 instead, 0 0.25 for the upper, 1 for sigma, with a mean of zero, 0.5987. It gives us the same. So this is the standardized way of doing it. But we don't need to do this for just normal probabilities. We need to use it to help us. And that's what this is really about. So you have this old way, which we don't need to do, but we do need to use it. So it says if we know the mean and standard deviation, then it's to standardize. Some people prefer to standardise, we're not going to bother. But if you don't know, so this is where it's important, if I don't know the mean or the standard of deviation, I can use it to find it. So, yeah, that's rubbish, so don't believe. We actually give all three, this one here, we give three different ways of doing it, so you can bother after that. Uh, right, so finding the mean and the standard deviation. So let's have a look at this one. I'm going to issues with my board today. Check my time, make sure the time's okay. Right then, so 
it tells us in this example that we don't know mu. But we do know that the probability that x is greater than 12 is 0.05. So we know that, that information. So if I work out the z value that goes with it, so z equals x minus mu over sigma, so my, uh, no, actually, you know what I'm saying now. What I want to do, hold on, uh, I want to work out what the z value is. So I'll find z for, if z follows a normal of 0, 1, and the probability that z is less than, or is greater than z, oops, can always say it here. So what happens when you, have, you kind of like record on a Wednesday afternoon when you're tired? It's not quite no five. Right, so I'm going to do an inverse normal is what I'm going to do. Uh, so if I do exit, exit, so distribution, normal, inverse. Right, now this is, because it's the... Let's move this over here. Oh, you have to off. Stop fucking around. If I put it there, is it going to do anything? If I move it over a little bit more, is it going to do anything? Right, because it's greater than, I'm going to set my tail to be right. Come back, calculator. All is forgiven. I'm going to set my area. Just doing my head in this board today. To 0 0.05. Sigma is 1 and mu is 0. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me a z value. So I've done an inverse normal. It tells me that z is 1.64. It's disappeared again. It's not making it easy, this. For, well, they tend to do it like three decimal places. It's 1.645. But I'm going to do 1.6449 to be a pain. Yeah, so that's my z value. Now, so I found my z value that represents this top 5% here. So now I'm going to use the formula that I wrote down before, which I put down too early because I misread the line. So my z value is 1.6449. My x value was, go over here, 12. My mu value is, I don't know. And my sigma value is going to be 2. So I can double it, rearrange it. So I've got, what have I got? So I've got two lots of 1.6449. That's 12 minus mu. So mu is 12 minus two lots of 1.6449. So I'll a quick look on the calculator, what that says. It's too annoying, nothing's working. Ah! Now I don't know what I'm doing because I'm not at the calculator with a finger. <sighs> this is a farce, really. Right, what we're doing so 12 minus 2 times by 1.6449. <laughs> it just won't let me press on the button. Oh my word. 8.71. So it's given me an average of 8.71. The completed part was 8.72 because I did a lot of a value. Oh my word. How much have you got left? You've got 40 seconds left. Right, so let's have a look at this one. So I found. I do a left on tail that gives me a z value. What's the z value? See, they just use 0.35. That's a left tail with an area of 0.35, with sigma as 1, mu as 0. And, but use a better one than that. And then if you use your z equals x minus mu, then you can rearrange the. Oh, what well, they got that for 0.35? Oh my.